welcome back to another week of songwriting. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Today is February the 15th when I'm recording this. It's gonna be an interesting 48 hours of a turnaround of this video, but it'll it'll be so good. Today we're gonna write another song. A part of me really wants to write a song about like Valentine's Day. I thought that that would be kind of cute, just, you know. I know it's a later, like it's past, but still I feel like that might be kind of fun. I wrote down two lines yesterday that I really liked. So I'm going to see if I can do something with that. I'm wearing my beautiful Hannah Montana sweatshirt, who is my biggest idol, who I love so much. Cozy vibes today and very exciting stuff. So I also was thinking I kind of want to write another song on the piano but I also remember that first video when I was writing on the piano that it was like kind of harder to hear me. We'll see if I find any inspiration on this piano today and we'll we'll investigate what happens but I'm very excited to write another song. So out of 12 videos we are on number seven now. I can't believe it. So it's been such a long journey so far and still got a few more to go, but let's let's write a song. Thank you for popping on here and watching me. I really appreciate it and you are amazing. So thank you. Here we are. We're at our lovely piano. I don't know what I want to write about today. There's a few songs throughout history that have like been popularized by talking about Valentine's Day. So maybe I could play on that? I don't know. I just think it would be so cute, you know? Okay, so I wrote down two lines yesterday when I was in the kitchen making from scratch my mother's birthday cake because her birthday's on Valentine's Day. But they're, they're for the bridge, so like I, I have no use for them yet. I'm gonna just play around on here, see if I like some chords, see if they go together. You know, you you know the drill by now. <laughs> but it does, it does really change, like depending on my mood. I really do like that. It's a really cute chord progression. So I'll do that. So that's D, that's D slash A. Oh wait, that's A slash D? I don't know the difference. Um, and then G, and then A. Okay. I keep messing it up though. But I don't know if it's gonna be a happy song or sad. It's probably gonna be sad, so why do we have happy chords? I don't know, let's, let's, I'm gonna start throwing stuff around. We'll see. Another year being alone, trying to for a first line. Another day of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is. Okay, this is a verse, besties. First one. Another day of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is again. Another year. I like year because it references the time even though I haven't said it yet. Okay, so we have one line. This is this is fun. I'm I'm getting ideas though. This is this is really exciting. So, we have one line. Another year of being alone just trying to forget what day it is again. Mm -hmm. So, I need something that rhymes with alone. So, we're going to open the rhyme zone. I don't know if I'm going to add the again to the line that I just sang. So, another year of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is. Stupid me, I should have known how sad. Okay, so I like that the stupid me, I should have known. And then talking about how I'm feeling that day. Another year of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is again. Stupid me, I should have known how lonely this day would be. Stupid me, I should have known how lonely this would make me. Another year of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is. Stupid me, I 
I want to add another little chunk for this verse. So this is what we have so far, and then I'll show you where we're going with it. So we have another year of being alone, just trying to forget. So now I'm using rhyme zone again to figure out a word for that next part. And I don't know what it's like to be on it unconditionally. Yeah. Slay, we have our first verse. Another year of being alone, just trying to forget what day it is again. Stupid me. So good. So now I'm working on the chorus, um, and this is what I've got so far. These days it's heartbreaks and regrets and situationships. My heart can't take any more. People leaving and closing the door. I love that. Oh my god. Let me just stop for a second and talk about last week. So last week, I had a meeting with my teacher of this class and I, I kind of explained it to them, but I feel like last week I just got so overwhelmed. You know, it's it's like it's midterm season. So I had a lot of my play, I still do, but you know, like now is leading up to reading week and I'm feeling a lot better. And I just feel like last week I was really overwhelmed with some external things happening besides this like more more coursework and stuff like that so i feel like now i don't know i was that past week i was just very overwhelmed with things going on and i think it was hard for me to shut that off so then when i tried to sit and write i really struggled with it but now now i'm feeling a lot better um still have a lot going on believe me but it's just it's nice to know that there is an end in sight and I think reading week has really helped me with that so I get next week to really focus on school and next week I I'm really excited to like not have a select amount of time to record like a, a songwriting video like next week I can kind of just do it whenever and spend as much time on it as I want so I feel like things are things are good you know um after reading week I only have six weeks left of school and then I'll have hopefully I'll have my degree which is terrifying to me so I always get like this once I see the end like even if it's a semester if it's like I don't know when I was graduating high school it was the same thing like once I I'm able to physically see the end I just lose all of my <laughs> my motivation to keep going I've always been like that growing up so we gotta keep punching but this song I am loving it's so cute so you know i think everybody has little blips like little bumps in the road but the thing that's really stuck out to me about last week is that i did it anyways i still wrote a song and i don't want to say that i forced myself but i did you like i made myself put words on a page and that was that. When I was growing up I went to a lot of songwriting seminars and read some songwriting books and learned all about the craft of songwriting and most songwriters write like 10 minutes every day full body word vomit onto a page and with that i feel like some days you get really good stuff some days you don't but it's just getting yourself into that routine into that practice and improving your craft every day like since i've started doing this i feel like i've been 
writing differently just in general like in some of my classes and the way that I'm talking and I just feel like maybe it's because I'm also in an English class but I feel like this helps too with just expanding your vocabulary and the way that you're able to express your own emotions and communicate it's really magical anyways let's get back to our song i'm gonna play the verse into what i have of the chorus sorry about that let's just cut in for a break and talk about last week because i think it's important but this week we see the end in sight reading week is literally a day away your girl's excited another year of being alone so far but I it's so cute I feel like I need to add a few more things to that chorus Please don't wreck this. two now. I'm getting right into this. I've always been such a dreamer making things up in my head again. Always been such a dreamer making things up in my head again. A quiet girl, a silent schemer. A quiet girl, a silent schemer. Here is our lovely second verse. I've always been such a dreamer, making things up in my head again. A quiet girl, a silent schemer, writing my stories that won't come true. And I don't know what it's like to be wanted unconditionally. This is making me so happy. And it's like a Valentine's song. Are you kidding me? 
This is so cute. It's very, it's kind of country. I would say it's country, but it's so cute. We love this. So now we're on to the bridge. So I did come up with two lines to write this bridge. For some reason, they're not loading onto my computer. I don't know what's happening. This computer has a complete mind of its own and I do not trust it. So I have them on my phone. <laughs> Every story that I open just makes me feel more alone. I should have nothing to complain about all my people before. were the lines that I came up with yesterday and wrote in my notes. Okay, this is the bridge and then I'm gonna go into what I think would sound really nice. I'm gonna do a more toned back portion of a chorus and then I'm going to have the full chorus with nicer stuff. I honestly, this is so exciting to me. I'm in love with this song. It's so, so, so good. Like, honestly, this is so heartbreaking. Okay, let me try this again. First, what I'm thinking it needs, if that makes any sense. Maybe I'll just do some vocal stuff like I was kind of doing when I was playing it for you. Maybe that'll be good and then just change the chords at the end. My first Valentine. I love this song so much. This is so cute and it's an earworm too. Like it's it's stuck in my head, especially that chorus with the These days it's heart breaks, it's regrets and situationships. Like that's gonna that's gonna stick, that's gonna haunt you after this video. I can guarantee it. It's so cute, it's it's very like dreamy. I don't know how to describe it, just very like wishful thinking, very cute, very very Valentine-y. I'm probably gonna call it Valentine. 
oh my gosh well again thank you guys so much for watching this series i know that last week was a bit of a downer and that's not fun um but thank you for continually watching these videos it means the absolute world to me and they're so much fun to make they're so much fun to edit i really missed doing this content creation stuff while i was away i don't know if i'm gonna keep doing this after this project is over i don't even know where i'm gonna end up when this project is over so we're just gonna play it by what happens and we'll see what happens it's so much fun and i really am so grateful for your listening and you're watching and your comments and your support it means the world to me and it's so fascinating to me that um so many people who have watched me for so long are finally understanding like what I do as a songwriter you know like I feel like yeah everybody listens to music but nobody really knows what a songwriter does unless you are a songwriter so I feel like it's so cool to have this represented it's so cool if you wanted to watch something if you're like hey Ashley what should I watch which I doubt any of you are that's kind of like this but you know it's way better than this are you kidding me it's on Netflix it's called Tick Tick Boom. It's a musical. And it's it totally represents the creative process that like a creative goes through. It's this guy who's trying to write a musical and he writes a musical about writing a musical and it just shows like the ups and downs of the creative process that somebody who doesn't do this isn't aware of. And I will constantly, constantly fight for people to watch that musical just because it showcases what creatives go through so good and i i just love it so much so if you want to kind of learn more about that i definitely recommend that because it's it's just so good yeah thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for sunday for the performance video bye